story to tell. Japan has long been famous for its high technology and artificial intelligence. They currently manufacture a wide variety of modern weapons and equipment in the world. For decades, the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force mainly used U.S. huge OH-6 Kaiyu's light helicopters as reconnaissance. It was produced in Japan by Kawasaki under the names OH-6J and OH-6D. In the late 1980s, the Japan's Ground Self-Defense Force introduced a request for a new reconnaissance helicopter to replace the OH-6Ds, known as the OH-X program. The helicopter was later designated OH-1, with its maiden flight made in September 1996. OH-1 is known as the nickname Ninja. The Shishi SDF initial procurement plan amounted to hundreds, but due to budget constraints, so far only less than 50 OH-1s have been completed. The Kawasaki OH-1 is classified as a military scout or observation helicopter in service with the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. The OH-1 was the first fully produced helicopter in Japan. OH-1 applied new manufacturing technologies that made its empty weight early 2.45 tons where the maximum takeoff weight is about 4 tons. The OH-1 is 12 meters long, 3.8 meters high, and the main rotor diameter is 11.6 meters. The exterior design of the OH-1 is quite similar to the design philosophy of modern military helicopters in other countries. The crew consists of two people arranged in tandem, the pilot in the rear and the weapons officer in the front. Basically, the crew's visibility is good on the front and sides. The OH-1 has an efficient aerodynamic design with a thin fuselage. Two engines are located at the rear of the cockpit, powering the four-bladed main rotor. The tail rotor is shrouded in a Fenestron assembly. The design of the tail rotor helps to reduce noise and to some extent protects against light fire and shrapnel. On top of the tail rotor is a vertical tail fin with additional horizontal planes set to either side of the tail. The two sides of the fuselage is fitted with step wings just behind the cockpit. They provide four hard parts for different weapon layouts or external fuel tanks. The undercarriage is similar to other military helicopters, consisting of two single wheel main landing gear legs and a single wheel tail unit. The 
the OH1 is powered by a pair of Mitsubishi TS1 turbocharged engines, producing 890 horsepower each. Ninja can reach a top speed of 278 km per hour, cruise speed of 220 km per hour, a range of 550 km, fair range of 720 km, and service ceiling is 4880 meters. The OH-1 is suited to armed scout, light escort, and observation duties. It is equipped with an automatic pilot system with fly holding functionality. The OH-1 does not make use of a chin-mounted turret or optics fairing common to other military helicopter designs. A roof-mounted electro-optical sensor turret is located forward of the rotor head, containing a forward-looking infrared sensor, a laser rings finder, and a color TV camera. The outer pylons can carry four TAF-91 guided surface to emissions, while the inner pylons are capable of carrying external fuel tanks for additional rings or endurance. Flights of Japanese Kawasaki OH-1 helicopters in service with the Army Aviation of the Japanese Self-Defense Forces were discontinued in 2015 after an accident on February 17, a helicopter with tail number 32634 crashed into the sea due to the destruction of one of the engines and the subsequent failure of the second engine. On March 1st, 2019, the OH-1 flies were resumed. The OH-1's design was intended to maximize its stability from enemies during reconnaissance missions. With 34 build, the OH-1 Ninja helicopters are playing a backbone role in the assault reconnaissance role of the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. My video about Japan Kawasaki OH-1 helicopter answered. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.